Right then. Yeah, I think it must be two million, you know, for the whole thing. I would have thought. Yeah, I went up to the door, you can't get in. It's going to, like I said, you might pay two million for it, but you've got to spend two million on it. Because the idea of keeping it like that is because it's Wordsworth lived there. See what I mean? There's the old, uh, well, that's all been kept. That's all cut back. That's all cut back. And this is another way into the garden, if I remember rightly. I thought we heard, like, a door open then, but you do hear things. You imagine Wordsworth would have been out here. Um, that looks like a little chapel. It's got some stained glass windows in there. I'm sure you used to be able to... Oh yeah, there's the, there's the, not the gate that you used to be able to get through in there. That's right. If I see somebody looking out the window now, it'd be spooky, wouldn't it? Because those big windows, you can imagine... Coleridge and Wordsworth standing in those windows looking out at, over across the sea, can't you? You know what I mean? Because I can't remember when there was somebody living in there. I know I'm using a bit of video up doing this, but I've got to keep an update. This is 2018, July the 25th. This is July the 25th. So we can see how long it's gonna take. If I only come back every couple of years, I might come back a bit more often, but they'd have to have builders out here and all sorts. We just have a little look around the back here. This is where people, it's just like the extra parking area, but oh, it's just been tidied up, hasn't it? This has been tidied up a lot. That's why I want to go and see the garden. Oh, I haven't seen this open before. So I say you come back and another door is open. Oh, another room. Look at the flooring. Tell how old it is, can't you, by this flooring? This is almost medieval. Or, let's put it 18th century. When Wordsworth is, it's the same floor that when Wordsworth would have been there. Up laid like this. Like I said, I'm not seeing this bit open, but look at the ceiling with the beams, look. The curve, he just cut straight off the tree, look. That's original. Right, just turn right. off to it for I've never seen it ever being cut back like this. And it also looks to me like the walled garden is clear as well. Which is what I walk through that barn over there in a minute. Yeah, no, it's, this, this is always thick with vegetation, stinging up with brambles. Very interesting though, isn't it? Don't know what these sort of structures are for along here. Storing hay in, do you think? Well propped up. It's under the barn. I suppose it helps ventilate the barn up, up there. Yeah, you often think, oh, we might find an old penny, you know. Victorian penny or something like that. And that little bit on the end there, I often think, although it looks like a stable, it also looks like it might have been even a chapel once. It's got some lead windows in it. No, it's worth coming back. Like I said, these are figs. And I expect this was here when Wordsworth was here. 
fix. <sighs> oh, I can smell mint as well. Look at the floor in here. Yeah, this is roughly, it's all roughly the same as it ever was, okay? Um, the walls, exposure of the walls, what they look like. The, the, the ceilings, straight cut off the tree, look. Original joists. But it's just got a feeling that it might, it's, I don't know, maybe they built barns to look like chapels. But could it have been a little chapel once? I'm surprised Time Team haven't been out here. There's just something about it. Same, I've been coming here for six, seven years. No, no, eight or nine years I've been visiting here. It's, and each time I come, it's tidied up a bit more. It has been tidied up quite a lot. Especially the garden area. I think once, when I first came, it was still look, looked like it had been being used. Uh, it wasn't stripped bare like this. And there was more features around. Um, we're going to we'll look around. There's obviously somebody doing a lot of work here. Obviously not today. Yeah, not, see, I don't know. I just... There's a feeling about that little building there. That's the gate that leads you over to the house. Through there. Obviously blocked off now, but I've been through it. Where you'd have your plants growing up, look. And I've never been able to walk along there, because it's always up brambleized. It might still be. Might not have got down this far yet. Let me see how bad it is. Yeah, still quite brown brows, but you can see the apples being trained against the walls there. Yeah. Yeah, it was, though it's, um, it's always been pretty like this. When I first seen it, it wasn't. It looked like it was still being used as a garden. And had pretty flowers and all sorts of things in it. And it was just a little bit overgrown the first time. Eight or nine years ago when I came here. And I, um, I always say now, and I, as I have done every time I come here, I can imagine Wordsworth and Coleridge and <coughs> Wordsworth's sister Dorothy sat out here having tea and cake, real English tea and cake, in the, in the walled garden. It was a feature of that period. All the mansions had them. People were self-sufficient in their agriculture, you know? Hence, they even had a fig, even got a fig tree there, still bearing fruit. All right, over now, we'll take some pictures.